Today we are talking about this book, my April book of the month pick. Look at how beautiful this cover is. I just love Paula. I just saw an interview with her and Kristen Hanna. I don't know if any of you saw it. It was on Facebook Live. First of all, Kristen Hanna's interviewing Paula about this book, and I just got done reading Kristen's book. I love them so much. I don't think that I could love those women more. This is the first one that I've read of Paula's. I thought that I had read the others. I actually had to go back to my list, and yes, I have extensive lists of books I've read. My TBR list is absolutely insane right now. Now it's I don't know if I'm going to live long enough to read all the books on there but you guys probably say the same thing I think it's normal for us to have a TBR list that we're never gonna be able to complete that we just keep adding to as a matter of fact I added like 15 books today getting back to Paula who I love and I'm gonna put her picture up she is so sweet if you have not watched a video of her just go go on YouTube and, and pick one up I'm not sure there's anyone that is as sweet as her and if you've read this book let me know I need to know this book was incredible when the stars go dark just came out yesterday I read it over the weekend I'm just having time to film it now 384 pages and this was her first crime thriller she has written historical fiction which I am gonna go back and read the Paris wife I can't believe that was that's on right now is on my TBR from like a year ago. And I looked, I'm like, oh my God, I never got to read it. I am going to read it. Trust me, it's going to happen. That book came out in 2011. It did amazing things. This book is going to also do amazing things for Paula. She said she felt like it, even when she was writing it, she said she could feel that this book was going to be amazing. This is kind of, and I don't want to say that it's an autobiography because she actually wrote an autobiography. So I'm not going to say that this is that, but she said the main character, Anna Hart, she said she takes a part of her and I can tell. Paula grew up in foster homes just like this main character did just like Anna so now knowing that about Paula she just took her own experiences in living in the foster care system and Anna is so hard to let go once you read this book you are going to fall in love with this main character and of course don't we always fall in love with main characters but she is so different her life we only get tidbits along the way i love the way that paula wrote her we know she has a baby had a baby she has breast milk <laughs> she is trying to get rid of so why why halfway through the book i'm like paula why is she why tell me more but no paula waits and it is absolutely perfect far be it from me to tell paula how to write a book as you're reading this you just keep wanting to tell her to give you more you just keep talking to her like she's right there you're like she ends a chapter and you're and you want more you're, you're like, but then that's what keeps us reading these chapters were absolutely perfect. I love a thriller. It ends with those short chapters with the last sentence that you can't put down because then you're like, oh my gosh, I need to read one more chapter. I can't go to bed yet. I have to read one more chapter of this book. That is how this book is. This is, book is set in Mendocino. I wonder if I'm saying it right. Mendocino, Mendocino, California. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anna solves missing persons cases, basically girls. And she goes back to Mendocino kind of to get away from her family situation, which we only get a little bit. We only know so much. Paula just gives us a tiny bit of what's going on. She goes back to her hometown and there's a missing girl and she's like, I gotta find this girl. Anna needs to find these girls. She feels like because of what she went through that she understands these girls. And we find out her history as we're reading it. I, I cannot describe to you, I mean, to think that this is her first thriller, I cannot believe it. It reads like she's been writing thrillers her entire life. She is a natural writer. That's why I can't wait to go back and read The Paris Wife. That is gonna be happening very, very soon. Paula is my age 
and she was a middle child. I think from the time she was four, her two sisters and her, the three of them, were in foster care. When you see her and you see her talk about it, that's why I'm saying go on YouTube, watch her speak. I'm gonna go see if she has any more, actually, that she's talking about this book, but I know that there are a lot of interviews with her. I wanna see more of her. I love her. I don't even know what she's writing next. She didn't even really talk about it. If you have Kristen Hanna as one of your best friends, and you're a writer, like I think, no, no wonder her writing is amazing. And they were so cute together. You have to, have to go watch it. I am sure, I don't know, does Facebook Live even save those interviews? I'm not really sure. The ending is so good. I don't think she, she doesn't, she's never done a series before, but I would love to know what happens to Anna. I would love another book on Anna. So maybe if you guys want that and I want that, maybe we could all just write to her and tell her to write more books about Anna. One thing I can tell you for sure though, is she said that this book has either, it's either gonna be made into a movie or it's gonna be um, like a TV show. So then, okay, then we will get more of Anna if it's TV show because she'd have to write more, right? Or maybe they'll use her as the screenwriter, who knows? But I am so happy that I picked it up. Let me get it again, show you the cover one more time. Here it is, When the Stars Go Dark. What an amazing title. And I am so happy that I have this book belonging to Book of the Month was one of the smartest decisions I've made this year. Every book on there, you could buy any one of them. They give you a choice of like five of them. And I know this sounds like a commercial and no, I'm not a sponsor. It is an amazing for us readers. The books are then like, if you have add-ons, you can get them for like $10. And if you love having hardcover books in your collection, I, I think it's the way to go. That's my little plug for Book of the Month Club. But anyway, go get this book. And if you have already read it, please tell me below that you've read it and what you thought. I thought it was the perfect, perfect thriller. I'm so happy she wrote it. So happy I read it. Thank you for watching. Until my next video.